walked out on you, huh? Gave up on you? Probably got you questioning your worth now. Yeah, I know. But let me give you this analogy. Imagine someone walking into a store, right? They walk into that store and they see something they like. They proceed to grab that item, look at it, admire it, maybe even try it on. They fall in love with it. But then they look at the price tag and realize it's too expensive. So they put it back and go about their day. Now, just because that person couldn't afford the price on that tag does not mean it changed the value in the item. Stop allowing people who cannot afford the price of your worth to change the value of it. Let me repeat that. Stop allowing people who cannot afford the price tag of your worth to change the value in it. You are worthy. You deserve more. And I promise you, somebody will come along the way and will be able to afford and appreciate you. People come into our lives and you never know for how long. Sometimes they leave at the end of the movie and sometimes they leave right in the middle. And it's confusing and weird and messed up and painful. It's so painful. But I want you to look at pain as this thing, this tangible thing. Let's say pain is a box. When you take the box out of your chest and you open it up, it's all the memories and all the love and all the good times you had with this person. It might be dark and gray on the outside, but the inside is beautiful because the box is the reminder that they were real. I know this is so hard, but I also know that you got this. I believe in you and I love you. Bye. If there's just one thing to learn in life, it's to learn to love the sound of your own feet, walking away from motherfuckers who are no good for your head, your heart, and your soul. Know your worth. Sometimes you have to give up on people. Not because you don't care, but because they don't. All you can do is give it your best. If your best isn't enough, don't waste your time with someone who doesn't appreciate all your effort. I'm learning. I'm learning not to force things to happen. I'm learning to just let them be. To let them align with my life when the time is right. To let the universe bring them to me without having to run after them. Because if you have to run after something, it means it doesn't want to be caught. I'm trusting God that what's meant for me will eventually find me no matter where I am. I'm learning to let those who don't want me in their lives go. And I might even hold the door open for them because I don't want temporary visitors anymore. All right. Now, I have expectations where it's like, if I were to do this or if I were to give you, are you strong enough? Are you capable of being someone that's gonna be in my life? Uh, that's how I approach things now. I, I, and I'm not being conceited, I'm saying it's actually an honor to be with me because I think I'm a great person and I love people deeply and I won't tolerate ever being treated the way that I had been. Hey, can you do me a favor? If you ask somebody what's wrong and they tell you nothing, I'm okay. And then you ask them again, no, what's wrong? And they tell you that they don't want to talk about it. It's okay not to talk about it. People that suffer with depression or any type of mental illness, sometimes they just don't want to talk and they just want to be alone because silence is the only thing that makes sense to them at that point in time. It's okay. Eventually, they may talk to you. And if they don't, that's okay too. Just don't push it, okay? Dear assholes with girlfriends, while you're ignoring her, another guy's giving her attention. While you're giving her problems, another guy's listening. While you're too busy for her, another guy's making time for her. While you're making her cry, another guy's making her smile again. And while you're not sure you still want to be with her, another guy's already figured that out. Ladies, you want to be in a happy relationship? There's only four things you need to do. One, find a man who'll make you laugh. Two, Find a man who's cultured and will explore this world with you. Three, find a guy who's intellectual and ambitious and will support your ambitions. Four, of course, find a guy who's honest, trustworthy, and respectful. But most importantly, more important than any of that, ladies, is that you make sure that these four guys don't know each other.
constantly. I don't care who you're currently talking to, who you're currently with, there is one person that is constantly in the back of your mind. One person that you think about at night. And even if they're not the person that you're talking to, even if they're not the person that you're with, that person has your heart. Hi, this is your daily reminder that what people think about you is no longer your responsibility. I heard this very recently and it changed the way I looked at things. Somebody told me to let them be wrong because oftentimes I feel like I need to defend myself when people say something that's inaccurate about me and I feel like I need to correct them. I need to correct every single person about how they perceive me. But then I realized that if I spend all of my energy trying to correct people's perceptions of me, then I'm not living for me. So I should just let people be wrong about me. What will that take away from me? Not much. So instead of worrying about what others are saying, I'll just let them be wrong and I can live my life. At least I'm right about me. I'm right about me.